Hello everybody and welcome to the midnight premiere of Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Mass Effect is to go completely all in straight from the bat. My favourite video game series of all time. I'm ranking this above Assassin's Creed, I'm ranking it above Horizon Zero Dawn, Spider-Man, I'm ranking it above Mario 64 for those of you who remember playing Mario 64 back in the day. But yes, this is the ultimate video game experience for me at least, as a massive sci-fi nerd and also as a massive gaming nerd. This is where it is at. I am beyond excited that I am about to start Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Now I'm just going to share this across my social media as I always do so thank you for your patience while I do so. I'm just going to put that on my news feed. So Mass Effect L E colon episode 1. My intention, as I've got the next six days off of work, which is freaking fantastic, my intention is to stream the entire game, if I can. So without further ado, I am going to load up Mass Effect 1, which is a game that I have, believe it or not, platinumed on the PS3, it, and that includes the Insanity playthrough. But yeah, so we're going to load up Mass Effect 1, this is completely remastered, completely HD remastered for the PS4 and PS5. Oh, it's HDR enabled. And it looks phenomenal. Now, my plan is this. Even though I've played through these games a bunch of times, um, obviously I've never played through Legendary Edition that launched today, but I'm going to try and remain silent through the cutscene so you guys can appreciate and experience the story. So this game came out originally in 2007, which is 14 years ago, and that makes me feel incredibly old. But yeah, so my plan for this is that we are going to play the game as if we're playing it for the first time. I'm going to create my own custom Shepherd in a moment, which is going to be phenomenal. But yeah, we're going to um, Welcome I'm going to let you guys experience this with me. Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. I'm so excited. I've got, actually got goosebumps. So Shepard, um, who is the protagonist that you play as, you can be a male Shepard, a female Shepard, or you can be a custom Shepard. We're going to go custom. I'm going to do custom male. And I like to roleplay these games. My gamer tag and my YouTube name is Elekthan, which is just a jumbled up version of Nath Kyle. So I'm going to play as Elek Shepherd. Please Done. log in to access your profile. Oh, this looks so freaking good. I'm going to try not to swear. Try and keep it as a clean stream, but I am. Um, Fair point, Data actually, while well, I think detected. to mention it. Please Content warning, the games are an 18 plus. Uh, that is because of violence and language. Now, here's our first big choice already. We've got to choose our backstory. Now, there are a bunch of different ones that I liked. There, I say there are three separate ones. My personal favourite, I like Colonist, which is you're born and raised on Mindoir, a small border colony of the Attican Traverse. When you were 16, slavers raided Mindwa, slaughtering my family and friends. You were saved by a passing Alliance patrol and you enlisted with the military a few years later. So that's what we're going to select. We're going to be a colonist. Confirm psychological profile. And we are going to be a war hero. Um, Ruthless doesn't really suit my style of play. I like to play as a good guy, not a bad guy. Soul Survivor, again, it's a bit gritty. So... For, for me playing as the Paragon, I like the War Hero, which is early in your military career, you found yourself facing an overwhelming enemy force. You risked your own life to save your fellow soldiers and defeat an enemy despite the impossible odds. Your bravery and heroism have earned you medals and recognition from the Alliance fleet. Confirm military specialization. Ah, here we go. This is where it gets interesting. So these are the six um, preset profiles 
they give you different abilities. I quite like either Sentinel or or, um, or Vanguard. I think we're going to go for Vanguard. Facial identification. And now this is where it gets good. I get to make him look like me. Cycle through the presets. See, that one's probably the one we're going to start with as a preset. That one's not far off either, to be fair. No, that one's... Oh, that one's much better. Right, so face structure. I'm going to try and make him look as much like me as is possible. Which probably means we... Yeah. Oh, wow. We get lots of different skin tones. That's really cool. Um, so for the remake, for the remaster, they have included a bunch of the customization options that you would only get in Andromeda. We're going to go for the young complexion because I am only 30. Skin tone, we probably want it a bit lighter actually, don't we? Not quite grey, but... Oh, that's quite pale. Yeah, here we go. This is us. Right, so... I'm going to play with the head a bit. Neck thickness. Nah, we want a thin neck. Face size. I've got quite a chunky face. Chubby and proud. Cheek gone. Yeah, that's about right. Ear size. Got reasonably sized ears. There we go. Right, eyes. This is where it's important. Eye shape. There are various different shepherd eye shapes. I quite like that. I have it a bit lower though. And eye width. There we go. That looks a bit like me. Eye depth. So we will get into the game shortly, but for me, I want to make sure that if we're making a shepherd that looks like me, he looks as much like me as possible. Iris colour. Well, I've got lovely dark brown eyes. So let's see what we can do. That's about right. Jawline. I've got quite. A, I've got a second chin at the moment. I'm trying to get rid of it. Let's just turn to the head, the side, get the side profile right. Yeah, that's cool. Reasonably wide chin, reasonably wide jaw. There we go. So he's got a bit more of a rounded face, like me, which is nice. Uh, mouth shape. Let's go through the lip sizes. I don't have massive like fish lips or anything. That's probably what we're looking for. There we are. So guys, I'm going to um, for the for the bits where there isn't cutscenes and talking. I'm going to you know fill the gap and explain what's going on and stuff. Got reasonably chub chubby lips there. There we go. That looks a lot like me. Cool. Nose. Got a smallish nose. My nose has got a weird. Ah, yeah, there we go. That is basically my. Oh no, maybe not. It's the depth there that I don't like. That's better. Yeah. Oh, looks like he's been punched. Let's just check the other nose shapes. It's a bit too wide. If they had a width option on. Oh, hello, that's a bit better. The more I think about it, the more this one fits. Yeah, that's the nose. Hair. Now we've got some options here. Your barnet. This is the one that I quite like and I usually go for, which I'm glad to see they've kept in. But let's see what else we've got. Oh, that's. Wow, they've oh, they've got a lot of options. I like that. That's similar. Don't like most of these. Cornrows definitely not. Like I could pull cornrows off. There we go. That's it. Beard. So at the moment, I've shaved my beard off, but I'm not going to go for the old baby face look. I want to have a bit of the old face fuzz. This is probably the look. Let's just see what else we got. I don't like that, that's a bit too... He's meant military, and in the military you've got to have a little bit of a standard, so... Brow. Oh, hello. I think we've already landed on a winner there. One, two... That's that. 
Yeah, that's the winner there. Hair colour. So at the moment, I have dyed my hair blue. And they do have dyed options. I uh, I would like my shepherd though to have my natural hair colour, which is a bit more of like a dark brown, like that. Yeah, that's about right. Facial hair's got to match it as well. That's too dark. He looks a bit like Satan. That's about right. There we are. Scar. Do we have a scar? No scar. Unless I do one about the eye. As most of you know, I've got one eye. And it's not something I'm ashamed of. Um, it's just, just part of me being me. I don't... Unfortunately, it doesn't give you the option to have it on the uh, on the correct side for me, so we're just going to go for no scar and finalise. Here we go. Profile reconstruction complete. So, oh, I'm nervous, but we're about to start. So I'm going to press this and going to enter a cutscene. So I'm going to go stum. But enjoy, guys. This is, in my estimation, the best trilogy of video games ever made. Welcome to Mass Effect. In three, two, one. Identification confirmed. Oh, maybe not. We're going to play it as filthy casual because I've completed it on uh, Insanity and I have no need to prove it again. I've got the platinum that says I've done it and I want to enjoy this. This is for me... Mass Effect is a bit like fast food gaming for me. It's just comfort food. It's something that I know and I love and I come back to again and again because of how much enjoyment it gives me. No auto level up. Yep, we'll keep that as standard. Subtitles we're going to put off and squad power usage off because I want to control my squad. Auto save on and okay, here we go in three, two, one. Welcome to Mass Effect. Shepard. He grew up in the colonies. He knows how tough life can be out there. His parents were killed when slavers attacked Mindwar. He proved himself during the Blitz. Held off enemy forces on the ground until reinforcements arrived. He's the only reason Elysium is still standing. We can't question his courage. Humanity needs a hero. And Shepard's the best we've got. I'll make the call. So pretty. The Arcturus Prime relay is in range, initiating transmission sequence. Commander. Oh, it looks so pretty. Wow. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. Oh, this game is stunning. All stations secure for transit. Oh, I'm actually getting a little emotional. Wow. The difference between this and the original is like watching a pirated movie versus watching it in the cinema. Board is green. Approach run has begun. Oh boy. Wow. Check. Navigation. Check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift. Just under Just 1500 under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. 
Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. They don't send specters on shakedown runs. So there's more going on here than the captain's letting on. Joker, status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth system's engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach the Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? He sounds angry. Something must have gone wrong with the mission. <laughs> Captain always sounds like that when he's talking to me. Can't possibly imagine why. Joker, the pilot of the Normandy, one of my favorite characters and voiced by Family Guy regular Seth Green. And here we are. I can't believe it. We're actually playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, I'm sorry, there's going to be a lot of stopping and staring, unfortunately. Let's just press pause. We've got photo mode. Oh, I knew I, I heard rumors, but wow. There's a photo mode. Oh, hello. A bit too low there. Hello, Commander Shepard, a.k.a. me. Oh, all of the detail, man. This is insane. I've played this game so many times and never before have I seen it in this detail. Let's have a look at Joker, see what he's up to. Hello, Joker. Oh, hello. You're a... ...the way. All right, let's exit photo mode. Um, I'll do that. Start button, options button, is it? Right. Pull the codex. Our little personal profile there. Oh. And we've already got points to use. We're at level one. I'm going to ignore all the tutorials. I know exactly what I'm doing. First things first, update our charm. We want to max this out as soon as possible. We're playing Paragon. We're playing Good Guy. So that gives us more dialogue options, amongst other things. Oh, the journal. I've got to go speak to Captain Anderson. The captain's waiting for you in the comm room, Commander. You probably don't want to keep the captain waiting, Commander. Oh. It's so weird being here on the Normandy in HD. Speak to Presley first. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Sounds like you don't trust our Turian guest. Sorry, Commander. Just having a chat with Adams down at Engineering. I didn't mean to cause any trouble. But you have to admit, something's odd about this mission. The whole crew feels it. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? It doesn't add up. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Racism runs in his family. Lost a lot of when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. Do you have a problem with the captain? No, sir. But I can't figure out what he's doing here. Captain Anderson is one of the most decorated special forces officers in the service. If he melted down all his medals, he could make a life-size statue of himself. You don't send a soldier like that on a do-nothing mission. He's treating this shakedown run too seriously. Something big is going on. 
What do you know about the stealth systems? I just know it masks our location from scans and sensors. Cutting edge technology. The Normandy's the only ship with this prototype drive. But why are we fully staffed? A skeleton crew would be cheap, less chance of security leaks, too. Plus, there's Nihilus. It's pretty obvious this shakedown run is just a cover. For what? Damned if I know, Commander. We're out here on false pretenses. I'm not a fan of being left in the dark. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. So already the plot begins to thicken. Prime doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. Oh, you watch too many spy bits, Jenkins. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. You need to calm down, Corporal. A good soldier stays cool, even under fire. Sorry, Commander, but this woman's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself in the Blitz. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid <laughs> to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. You're from Eden Prime, aren't you, Jenkins? What's it like? It's very peaceful, Commander. They've been real careful with development, so you don't have any city noise or pollution. My parents lived on the outskirts of the colony. At night, I used to climb this big hill and stare across the fields back at the lights from the main settlement. It was gorgeous. But, when I got older, I realized it was a little too calm and quiet for me. That's why I joined the Alliance. Even Paradise gets boring after a while. Any idea why Eden Prime was chosen as our destination? Not really sure, Commander. Eden Prime is one of our most stable colonies. Good place to take the Normandy for a shakedown run, I guess. No real danger there. But there's got to be something else going on. We've got a Spectre on board. That's why I'm so wound up. I can't wait for the real mission to start. The captain's waiting for me. Goodbye, Commander. So, yeah. All right, so we can't actually go to the second or third deck at this point in the game. That's fair enough. Let's go speak to Nihilus and see what he's got to say for himself. Like I don't already know. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. The captain said he'd meet me here. He's on his way. I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. I know this game too well. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. 
They know more about the Protheans than we do. The Beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Guess that explains why I bump into him every time I turn around. The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. You held off an enemy assault during the Blitz single-handed. You showed not only courage, but also incredible skill. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. I assume this is good for the Alliance. Earth needs this, Shepard. We're counting on you. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Why is this beacon so important? All advanced galactic civilization is based on Prothean technology. Even yours. If we hadn't discovered those Prothean ruins buried on Mars, we'd still be stuck on Earth. That was just a small data cache. Who knows what we can learn from this beacon? What if it's a weapons archive? We can't let it fall into the wrong hands. Like who? The Attican Traverse isn't the most stable sector of Citadel space. There are plenty of raiders and criminal groups active in the region. They might figure a Prothean beacon is worth the risk of attacking an Alliance ship. Plus, Eden Prime is right on the border of the Terminus systems. The Attican Traverse is under Citadel protection. If the Terminus systems attack, it's an act of war. Technically, yes. But some of the species in the Terminus might be willing to start a war over this. The last thing the Council wants is to get dragged into a major conflict with the Terminus systems. We have to keep this low-key. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Here we go. Oh, I'm excited. They've revamped the entire combat system to make it play like 2 and 3. Engaging stealth systems. So this is where it gets different. Where the graphics are just beautiful. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Oh, here we are. Ship perimeter secure, Commander. Oh, this is weird. Everything the looks so good. Got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Smells like smoke and death. 
Right. So first things first, let's check our equipment. Does it give us the option to have details? Yes, upgrades. Options. Graphics. Motion blur. Off. On. Cool. Collaboration. Well, we're just in the wrong way there, aren't we? So it's no longer visible. There we go. Okay, that's the that. Right, that's the sound. Cool, that's all as it should be. Gameplay. Ah, oh, we've already done this, haven't we? We'll let it do the tutorial just in case anything has changed. Squad. Oh cool, okay, so let's get Caden upgraded to You know what, we want to get some some biotic moves in here. Let's get him that and that. Jenkins won't be around long enough. Spoiler alert, he's gonna die in a second. Okay, this is cool. Oh. Even the sound effects. Right, I prefer to play with a pistol, so we're gonna to go to the old pistol. Stamina meter then. Meter. Um, memory serves. There's something to salvage around these parts. Oh, it's bigger as well. The world map feels bigger. Or is meant that because we're closer to the shepherd? Cool. Right, we've got throw and warp. I'm going to map throw. We use it 25 times to get a trophy. Oh, it's so surreal playing this. And it looks so pretty. And Jenkins about to die, folks. Oh, combat aiming is so much better. Take out those hostiles. I have. Let's investigate Jenkins' deceased form. Rip right through his shields. You're out of chance. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, sir. Cool. It smells like smoke and death. I want to keep my guns open. Oh, this game plays so well. A lot of bodies. I'm going to check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. No, okay, we just have to charge him. 
Oh, the world map is so much bigger. I see more red dots on my map, that means there are enemies. So in the first game, you don't have ammo, you've got a heat meter for your weapons. If they overheat, you can't use them until they cool down. Whereas in 2 and 3, you've got an ammo-based system. There is a plot reason for that, but I can't remember that. Ooh! That's gonna hurt in the morning. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. Move out. Right, there's some uh, upgrades here, so let's grab those. And we can also upgrade Ashley. Not my favourite character, but I prefer to Caden just because Caden feels a bit boring. Right, so squad first of all. Let's put Soldier Girl on two soldier points. Give Shepard a bit better armor. Uh, oh, we got some upgrades, well, didn't we? Let's do that. Hammerhead rounds is 20 weapons force or shield bypass. I'll go for hammerhead. And looking in the empty. Any armor upgrades? No. Cool. Oh, and of course, we've got the old save system, so let's get a save in. This, this feels so good to play. Right, I'll be some geth over here. Right, they being they being cowards, they hide behind. We can't shoot through rock, we need to go around. Right, let's use sabotage. Where's the other one? Ah, dead. We've leveled up as well, so let's squad up. Ooh, wow, six points, that's substantial. Right, well, assault training is going to be a good one to get because it gives us melee damage, weapons damage. And. How do we unlock tactical? Ok, 
Okay, we can't unlock it quite yet. Pistols we can upgrade. Um, we want to unlock lift as soon as possible. Let's do that for now with him. Caden can have upgrade there. Ashley will give that and that. Nice. And the shield's replenishing there, that's all good. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here, it must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. We'll better go investigate then, hadn't we? Change plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Looks like they hit the camp hard. Sam, he comes hot. Keep your guard up. We've overheated that. Wow. So even casual mode's been made a little more challenging. Pistol and Turian armor, so let's go equipment. Phasic rounds, yes. Heat sink, yes. Oh, we're an idiot. through this one and get some other bits and pieces. Striker, is that going to be any better? I can't remember. Um, edge one is probably better. Omni gel is there as well. Which is useful for later on in the game. Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit unstable. Genius is the same thing. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I Cheery am fella. not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Tempting. Why not? One renegade action for a Paragon playthrough, why not? Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. 
You can't just go around whacking people in the head. It was only a matter of time until he did something crazy and dangerous. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. See, Manuel's feeling better now. Right, let's go and uh, do the rest of this. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. That gunshot didn't sound very... very good, did it? What is oh this? well. Try out flanking. Okay. Hmm, I don't know what that was all about. Huh. Apologies, guys. I tried to fire off a grenade, instead, I ended up opening the broadcast. Then let's change there. Hmm. Options, let's have a look. Controls. Usually that was the options button, so what have they replaced it with? Not in the middle of a fight! Well, yes, but he isn't dying. I find it interactive with Nihilus, I think, isn't it? Right, he's dead. Right, before we go and do anything else, we need to go and speak to these people up here. That was great. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out. We're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, 
I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. I have to go. Good luck. Let's go sneak in behind him. Alright, we've got combat sensor and we've got stinger number two. So let's load that up first. Stinger number two. And we'll go for... Let's go for heat sink. That's better. Heat absorption. Uh, my electronics is too low for that. That's fine. Let's go and investigate what happened to Nihilus then. Our recently supposedly deceased. Durian friend. Yeah, he did. Commander, it's Nihilus. Actually, let's get over here first because the upgrade kit we can use. Ah, armor piercing rounds could be useful. Equipment and armor piercing rounds. Is that synthetics? It is, but that's good because Geth are synthetic beings. They'll be susceptible to that. I speak. Well, he's very dead looking. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us in the normal. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait! Don't! Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I, I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his Let's guard down. down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform, probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. There's that damn mothership showed up, and the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Your call's contact here on the docks. For the smuggling ring. What? No! I mean... What does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. 
A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. So yeah, you guys might have noticed on the dialogue wheel there, there was an option highlighted in blue. Uh, that was the Paragon option. You get Paragon and Renegade options depending on your affinity in terms of the morality system in game. And if you have enough of it, uh, or enough of one or the other, you get extra dialogue options. So I exercised my Paragon right there to basically get a bit of uh, oh, blind. Be switching the sniper. All right, well, let's switch. To... We'll try out all the weapons to see what they feel like and how they right? We've got plenty of help to but we don't want to Switch out to the pistol again. Okay, that's one down. And get him to come here. Still too far out here. Do the grenades yet, which is a bit annoying. Come on, is it? Clicking thumbstick? No, okay. Is it just an option here? Ah! Square. Cool. Okay. That answers that little question. Right, well, let's use this train to get the heck out of here. And go and rescue that Protean beacon from the clutches of uh, the evil Turian Saren that we see there. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. That is not good. Neither is that. Bombs. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down! Right, let's just get over here and disarm a second before we get into a firefight situation. Oh, 
we go. Let's do this arm. Let's get to the get down there. Disarm number three. Got the sniper before they could get shot off at me, that's wonderful. Biotic camp will be useful for us. So we go here. It gives a duration bonus for our powers. That heat dampener is really, really useful as well because so we can shoot a lot more without dark, without having to wait for our recharge to wind down. Right, before we click on the protein beacon, let's mop up some of these extra uh, items. So the more we get now, the easier it is to sell and to uh, to use later on. Right. Ah, there it is. Very weird playing this game in HD. Everything's a bit bigger. From what I understand, number one, which is what we're playing at the moment, has had the biggest overhaul in terms of just like basic gameplay, etc. So we're going to have a lot more options and a lot more stuff to do. Also, those only used to take three. Now it's four buttons, so I'm a little worried that the harder they get, the more difficult it's going to be. There we go. Right, that's all of the stuff we need to mop up from this area, mopped up. So just see if these guys got any bills. Well, they're just lamenting the passing of Eden Prime. Right. Put guns away and let's investigate. And enter another cutscene. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. technology. Unbelievable! It wasn't doing anything like that when we dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by.
We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Well, he didn't take that well, did he? Speaking of... Doctor! Doctor Chakwas! I think he's waking up! You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? Like the morning after shore leave. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Gether invading. The Council's going to want answers. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren. That other Turian. Saren's a Spectre. One of the best. A living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue Spectre's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Gith. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What are we gonna tell him? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a Spectre. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. 
We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his Spectre status. I'll contact the Ambassador, and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Well, a lot just happened. Oh, this, this place looks so good. Let's put a second save in there. We've completed Eden Prime. Let's see what Ashley's got to say. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Jenkins was a valuable part of this crew. Part of me feels guilty over what happened. If Jenkins was still alive, I might not be here. You're a good soldier, Williams. Thanks, Commander. That means a lot from you. I've never met anyone who was awarded the Star of Terra. There's nothing special about me, Williams. Anyone would have done the same. Held off an entire enemy platoon? Alone? Uh, with all due respect, Commander, I think you've got somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. It comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out. And you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. We couldn't have done it without you, Williams. Thanks, Commander. I have to admit, I was a little worried about being assigned to the Normandy. It's nice when someone makes you feel welcome. I think you're gonna fit in here just fine, Williams. Thanks, Commander. There we go, we were nice to the new girl. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe, too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth, or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Normandy into dock. So we're heading up to see our favourite, uh, our favourite pilot, Jeff Moreau, aka Joker. Let's see what Presley's got to say. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough on the road. I imagine it was. Right, let's uh, let's bring the Normandy into land for one of my favorite scenes ever. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Oh, this looks so good in HDR. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. 
Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. Again, I've got my camera turned off tonight, guys, because it's late and I want you to have the full screen, but I've got goosebumps right now. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue specter. I demand action! You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. He needs to be stopped. The Council has to listen to us. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. That's why I hate politicians. And that's why I hate politicians. I know this game too well. My goodness. Hey, place. There we go. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during the Argus Road Costa. She had particular concerns about the hydro system, what was recalled. Cool, so that's some intel we can use to do some investigating later on once we leave the Citadel. Although we're going to be here for a little while. I'll do a bit more on the stream tonight and then I'll uh, leave it till tomorrow. For now, we're just going to go straight to the Citadel uh, Tower, I believe. Oh, this is so pretty. So, so pretty in HDR. Oh, we're not going to do fast travel, we're just going to do this properly. I mean, just look at the detail. There are leaves. Leaves on the ground. Water features. This whole game has just been given the biggest facelift and it looks so good because of it. Now we're going the right way. I mean, I know we're going the right way. I've played this game so many times that I could do this in the flesh. Is there anything that we need to do? No, that's cool. Please do not disturb the keepers. There we go, Citadel Tower, let's go up in the lift. The lift is brilliant as well because you get little conversation pieces with the characters. The council isn't going to ask me any questions, are they? I doubt it. We've made our reports. Now we just have to trust Ambassador Udina. No, we don't, sir. Here we are. A lot faster than it used to be. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, 
Here is my favourite character, and most people's. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Sounds like you really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. But he's a specter. Everything he touches is classified. I can't find any hard evidence. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Maybe, but probably not. All the colours as well, like all of this. It just looks so good. Right, there's Captain Anderson. Let's go see him. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. You're the one who destroyed the beacon. Then you tried to cover it up. Shift the blame to cover your own failures. Just like Captain Anderson. He's taught you well. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Saren's hiding behind his position as a Spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like, and he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. 
Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with them. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Cool, there we go. Probably a really good place for us to call it tonight. As it is half past one in the morning and I have experienced a little bit of it. And I'm now looking forward to playing this with a fresh set of eyes in the morning. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me for this first episode of Mass Effect. We have completed Eden Prime. And we are now having to investigate the Rogue Spectre Saren. This will be continued tomorrow. But until then, thank you, as always, so much for watching. If you enjoy the content I put out, please like, share, subscribe. But until tomorrow...